guys, welcome to Avidsha. In this video, we are going to share some current affairs and recent happenings in India of July 2021. Our first news is, BRICS nations finalize counter-terrorism action plan at working group meet. Yes, and it was held virtually on July 28 to 29 under the chairship of India. Okay. Our next news is that the first goods train on revived Chilahati Haldibari route to leave India for Bangladesh on 31st July. Yes, it is scheduled to leave from the Alipur Dua section of India. Correct. Do you know what is the operation on maiden voyage of coastal shipping service? Yes. Inauguration of the loading operation on maiden voyage of coastal shipping service, Green Freight Corridor 2 from Cochin Port to Baypur and Azikal Ports. Okay. Do you know CBSC introduced financial literacy textbook for classic students? Yes. As for the release, no. NPCI has curated the book. Accurate. Uriya poet Rajendra Kishore Panda backs Kuvempu Rashtriya Puraskar. Panda has published 16 poetry collections and a novel. AGNIFM partners with Microsoft to build an AI and emerging technology center of excellence. What is AGNIFM? It is Arun Jaitley National Institute of Financial Management. Okay. Our next news is India joins G20 OECD tax framework deal. Yes, it seeks to reform international tax rules and ensure that multinational enterprises pay their fair share wherever they operate. Union Ministers Piyush Goyal and Prakash Javrikar congratulate Invest India for winning Most Innovative Investment Promotion Agency 2021 award. Do you know ISRO gives nod to parliamentary panel to implement satellite TV classrooms? Yes, it is to bridge the learning gap due to COVID introduced induced lockdown. Do you know the Srinagar District Administration has banned drones and unmanned vehicles in Srinagar? Yes, it is because of the attack on Jammu Air Force Station using drones. Do you know the first sample of Astral Ryogo arrived at NASA Johnson? Yes, it was returned to Earth last December by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's JAXA. Hayabusa 2 spacecraft. Our next news is DPIIT initiates project on open network for digital commerce. An 11 member committee comprising officials from various ministries and industry representatives has been set up and a pilot project will start next month. Now we are going to talk about the DMRC launched, India's first UPI-based cashless parking at Kashmir Gate Metro Station. It was launched on 6th July. Our next news is Central Government creates a new Ministry of Cooperation. Yes, the Union Government on 5th July announced to create this to implement the vision of Sahkar Se Samriddhi or Prosperity Through Cooperation. Do you know CII organizes first edition of Indo-Pacific Business Summit in partnership with External Affairs Ministry? Addressing the event, Secretary East and External Affairs Ministry Riva Ganguly Das spoke about promoting trade facilitation in the Indo-Pacific through improved cross-border linkages and tra trade infrastructure. 
Our next news is Delhi government outlines policy to identify street children. The WCD minister Rajendra Pal Gautam said the new guidelines for the first time attempt to define street children. Can you tell me what is WCD? Yes, it is Women and Child Development. Yes, and this could impact nearly 70,000 children in the capital, according to estimates by the WCD department. Wow! Next news is Center brings Department of Public Enterprises under Union Finance Ministry. Presently, the Finance Ministry has five departments Economic Affairs, Revenue Expenditure, Investment, and Public Asset Management, and Financial Services. But the Finance Ministry will now have six departments while DPE's Heritage Parent Ministry, the Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises will now be called the Ministry of Heavy Industries. Have you heard that the world's largest sand castle in Denmark makes it into the Guinness Book of World Records? Yes, that castle stands nearly 69.4 feet and weighs nearly 5,000 tons. Our next news is News on Air Radio live stream global rankings are released. Yes, Fiji is second and United States continues to be number one. Correct. Can you tell me what DRDO and AICTE launched? Yes, DRDO and AICTE launched two-year master course in defense technology. Correct. Do you know a new type of virus is reported in Kerala? Yes, it is called the Zika virus. Correct. And the first case of the Zika virus was confirmed in Kerala on July 9. Do you know there are two active subglacial lakes under the Antarctic ice sheet? Yes, it was discovered by NASA scientists with the help of an advanced laser instrument. Did you know Indian researchers spotted a rare superluminous supernova? But can you tell me what is a supernova? Yes, a supernova, supernovas are extremely bright, super powerful explosions of dead stars in the universe. But can you tell me what is a superluminous supernova? Yes, they are just like supernovas, only superluminous supernova. Among them are exceptionally rare. India and Italy reaffirmed commitment to deepening bilateral economic ties and enhancing cooperation between the two countries. World Population Day is on 11th July. The 10 most populous countries are China, India, United States, Indonesia, Pakistan, Brazil, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Russia, and Mexico. Do you know SJVN signed an MOU with Nepal? Yes, it was to execute 679 MW Lower Arun Hydroelectric Project. Accurate. Our next news is about launch of Bhim UPI in Bhutan. Treasury Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said on 13 July that the launch of Bhim UPI QR based payments in Bhutan would further strengthen the cooperation between two neighboring countries. Do you know India's first redeveloped railway station with five star hotel was inaugurated by PM Modi on July 16? Yes, and the Gu Gujarat government said the luxury hotel having 318 rooms is spread across 7,400 square meters and has been built at a cost of rupees. 790 crore. Okay. Researchers at IIT Madras have developed an AI tool called NB Driver for use in analyzing cancer causing mutations in cells. In the Cannes Film Festival, Titan wins top. Palm d'Or Prize, 17 July. Do you know two Indian organizations when UNDP Equator Prize 2021? 
Yes, they are APP Company Limited and Sneha Kunja Trust. But can you tell me what is the full form of UNDP? Yes, its full form is United Nations Development Fund. Correct. Do you know what is the Quad Group? Yes. US, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Uzbekistan form the Quad Group. India is now the fifth largest forex reserve holder in the world. It has $608.99 billion in currency reserves as of June 25, 2021. Did you hear about the new bill that the parliament passed? Yes, Parliament passed the Marine Aid to the Navigation Bill in 2021. Yes, it was to enhance the safety and efficiency of navigation of vessels and vessel traffic. DRDO indigenously develops high-strength beta titanium alloy on industrial scale. Do you know about the Summer Olympics in 2032? Yes, they are scheduled to take place from 23 July to 8 August 2032 in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Yes, and it is also the 35th Olympics. Okay. Do you know about new generation Akash missile was successfully fly tested by DRDO? Yes, it was tested off the coast of Odisha on Wednesday, July 21. Rasmi Ranjan Das has been appointed as a member of the UN Task Committee for 2021 to 2025. Our next news is 11th Mekong Ganga Cooperation Foreign Ministers Meeting held on 21st July 2021. What is this? Are they placing a bridge? Yes, this is the world's first 3D printed steel bridge. It is being installed over one of Amsterdam's oldest canals. Can you tell me one more news? Yes, government announces portal to enable online registration under PM Care scheme for children orphan pandemic due to COVID-19. Wow, that's great. National Broadcasting Day is on 23rd July. Have you heard about the G20 on environment, climate and energy? Yes, it was held in Naples on 22nd and 23rd July. World Brain Day is on July 22. Can you tell me this year's theme? Yes, the theme of this year's World Brain Day is Stop Multiple Sclerosis. Did you hear about the new virus reported in England? Yes, 154 cases of novo virus has been reported in England. 26 July is the 22nd anniversary of the Kargil Vijay Divas. Kargil Vijay Divas? Is it the day India won the Kargil War? Yes. Priya Malik won gold at World Cadet Wrestling Championships. Wow, that's great! Vantika Agarwal won National Women Online Chess title. Wow, Indian women are really stepping up the game. Did you hear the news about Dhola Vira, the Harappan era archaeological site in Gujarat? Yes, on 27 July, UNESCO inscribed it on the list of World Heritage Sites, making it the first site of Indus Valley Civilization in India to be included in the coveted list. That's awesome! Did you hear about the new drug for hepatitis C? Yes, Malaysia has registered the world's first affordable and effective new drug for hepatitis C. International Tiger Day is on 29th of July. You, you must have heard about the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Yes, it was originally scheduled for 24th July 2020 till 9th August 2020. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it had been revised to 23rd July 2021 to 8th August 2021. This Olympic 
has 339 events in 33 sports with 11,090 athletes from 205 nations, 122 participants from India, 68 male and 54 female. We have one silver medal in weightlifting 49 kg category on 24th July 2021. It was won by Meera Bai Chanu. And PV Sindhu won a bronze medal in badminton on 1st August 2021. Some upcoming Olympics are 2024 Paris, France, 2028 Los Angeles, California, USA, and 2032 Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Thank you for watching our video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends.